Welcome to this week's Live Picks and we must talk about Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, the latest movie in the Marvel franchise just out in cinemas. That's right, it stars Simu Liu in his first major film as well as Aquafina and Asian cinema powerhouses Tony Leung and Michelle Yeoh. Well, film correspondent Don Louis is here. Hi Don. So you gave Shang-Chi uh, four stars in your review. What worked for you? But on the other hand, what accounted for that missing last star? It's a Marvel movie that's always uh, significant. And it's also a movie about Asian martial arts, which of course is significant for us here and also for Asians living in the West. What I really liked about it was how it seems to have absorbed a lot of really good martial arts movie influences from Jackie Chan to Wuxia to Shaolin movies and sort of processed it and updated it and used that typical Marvel magic, you know, the computer-aided design to create something really interesting. Um, one star, I guess, it's not a perfect movie. Uh, I like horror, it didn't have enough blood in it, I guess. It's for kids, it, it's for everyone, but uh, you know, it's, it's rated safe for kids. John, as you rightly mentioned, this movie is important because uh, of its Asian representation, particularly the Chinese culture. How did it handle that aspect? You know, in a lot of films from Hollywood, when you have um, Chinese characters, they tend to be supporting in the background. This one is full on, you know. There's one or two white characters and they're supporting characters, but the wealth of the Chinese experience is there on screen. So you have the assimilated, what they call the banana, the ABCs, as represented by Alcofina. That's her specialty these days. And then there is the immigrant parents. They speak Mandarin. You have to understand it in subtitles if you don't understand Mandarin. And then they go to China and then it's almost the whole experience of Chinese society, both in the West and in Asia. Thanks as always, John. I am certainly looking forward to watching the movie. Same here. Yeah, now we've been speaking with our film correspondent, John Lui. Now, a famous sandwich chain will open here in a week's time on September the 9th. Yeah, I never thought I'd say the word slut on the show, <laughs> but here we go. Egg Slut from Los Angeles will be at Scott Square. It's called Egg Slut because an egg is added to every dish on the menu. And here with more is food correspondent Eunice Quack. Hi Eunice. Eunice, tell us more about Egg Slut. Uh, how is it unique among other egg sandwiches? This is really um, actually a burger. It's not just mm. a sandwich. Like I mean, although the brand calls it sandwiches, uh, but for me, I don't know. When I think of a sandwich, I think of like an egg mayo sandwich, you know, that mm. kind of thing. It's not, and what you get here is not such a basic egg sandwich, I would say. You get like a really loaded um, burger. They use really nice brioche buns. Um, they use cage-free Japanese eggs. So you get that really nice, um, rich, runny, golden yolk, you know, when you cut through. And the burgers, they do showcase you know, a variety of how the eggs are cooked. So you can pick, uh, um, depending on what you like, there's scrambled, there's over medium with the runny yolk, um, you have hard boiled and you have the coddled eggs as well, which is kind of like a poached egg. Right, so Eunice, we have to ask, what are the highlights, the must-tries over at Egg Slut? Two um, sandwiches in particular for me are, are the, the, the real standouts. Um, one is the signature Fairfax. Um, and that one is packed with um, soft scrambled eggs um, mixed with chives. Um, then you have like caramelized onions, melted cheddar cheese, um, you know, sriracha mayonnaise. Um, so that's really good. Um, the other one would be the gaucho sandwich. Um, it is more expensive, actually the most expensive burger on the menu at $23. But that is because it has um, seared wagyu tri-tip steak slices inside. Um, and then you get an over medium egg, a chimichurri sauce and some red onions, arugula. It's a really great combination and for me, I love any burger that has a fried egg inside. So this one just ticks all the boxes um, for me. And then you wash it all down with um, this um, elderflower and lemon craft soda. It's an exclusive collaboration um, with um, local craft brewery um, Brewlander. Yeah, so it's um, 
excellent. <laughs> It's indeed, excellent indeed. Thanks very much, Eunice. That was food correspondent Eunice Quick.